All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chakurash, the one that's elders and apostles of great meals, and I do it well, and salutations and blessings to our that's pushing his word with truth, sincerity, and charity. Uh, today, I would like to get into this quick lesson. I'm going to title it, E Gets It, But You Jakes Are Just Stupid. All right, because I was having this conversation today with um, one of my coworkers, or a man who appears to be an Edomite. You know, he may be Jake. I he, like, he been around for pretty much the last six years. You know, a pretty pretty cool, pretty cool uh, person, man. I like, may maybe he may be a Jake, maybe an Edomite. Who knows? But his outer appearance is that he's an Edomite. All right. And we was having a conversation about the gas prices and you know all these things. And you know we have conversations. You know you come and have a conversation with me like that. You know often now lately. Right, be, man, these gas prices are crazy, man. I'm like, yeah, you know, it's it's it's, it's bad, man. It don't seem like it's gonna get no better, you know. And I'm talking to him like, you know, I'm an average Joe, man. I ain't revealing myself to none of these people, none of that, you know. But just talking to this dude, and he like, yeah, man, these gas prices are, are getting high, man. It's getting ridiculous. I don't, I don't think it's gonna get any better. And I'm like, yeah, man, who knows? Hey, we go out to see from here, you know, just playing that role, and. I'm like, yeah, man, the food prices are going up as well. You know, it's getting bad out here. And he's like, yeah, man, eventually it's going to be, it's going to, it's people are going to be breaking this out of other people's, uh, other people's houses, you know, for their food and their resources and all that. And I'm just, I'm just sitting out, just biting my lip, man. Like this, this straight off the pages, man. It's straight from the scriptures, you know, but thing is, man, all right, these Edomites, all right, these heathens, they see what's going on. They see that. Hey, all hell is about to break loose. Something, something is about to happen, man. They see this. You know, that's why they're preparing. They're holding on to their to their sword or their guns more and more. You know, they, they stocking up on guns more and more. They're stocking up on food more and more. All right, but what is Jake doing? Partying, living it up, bullshitting. All right, as it says in um, Matthew 24th chapter, all right, they were eating and drinking, giving in marriage until the day that the flood came and took them all away, man. And that's the same thing that's going on in these times. Like people are hey, partying, having a good time, bullshitting, man. All right, inside the spirit of mirth. When they, as it says in Ezekiel the 21st chapter, hey, we see a sword being furbished, we see a sword being sharpened. Should we then make mirth? All right, the answer to that is no. All right, we should not be making mirth, man. We should be hey, trying to get in the good graces of Yahweh by Shemal Shai, all right, and seeking our power. But our people are just stupid, they're just fools, man. But this is Second Ezra 15 and 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. So, hey, this is what's about to come down the pipeline, man. Hey, all hell is about to break loose. A purging. It's going to be a, a, the purge is going to be out here. All right, but it's going to be the real world purge. All right, hey, the purge from Yahweh Bashim al Shai is going to be like a time never before. As it says in Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, it's going to be death on a mass scale, man. All right. It's going to be death on a mass scale. It says the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. You know, and all these tough guys and all these men that are, you know, thinking that they're strong, man. Hey, the Lord is going to turn into pussies in that day. It says that in Jeremiah, the 30th chapter as well. All right. Why doth a man have his hands upon his loins like a travailing woman and all faces turn to paleness? You know, because the Lord is a truly going to. They put it, they truly gonna make it so bad out here, man. That all these guys as there's rough riders and they killers and all this shit, these Jakes. Hey, Lord is gonna be allowing Esau to slaughter y'all ass, man. Cause hey, Esau really Esau hey, his blessing is a sword. So he got a lot of weapons, man. He has a lot of guns and his people are preparing. You Jakes ain't prepared for this, man. You Jakes don't know how to shoot. All right. Hey, 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 these niggas be shooting guns, man. They they ain't even hitting their targets, man. They missing the ops. All right, they hitting little children, they hitting, you know, women, men. All right, men ain't got nothing to do with the situation. You know, all that, man. But hey, it's going to get worse and worse. All right, destruction is going to draw nigh, man, on a mass scale. It says, for there shall, shall be sedition among men. All right, we see that. All right, we see militia groups being built up. All right, people are banding together more and more to fight against the government. It says, in evading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their action shall, shall stand in their power. And we've seen that in 2021. Uh, when they ran up inside a Capitol building. Uh, whether it was a false flag or not, man. It happened. 
you know, where they they ran up inside the, the Capitol building, and that that's that's addition among men, all right. That's insurrection. Now, all these things are going to continue to increase. So it says, a a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. So yeah, man, eventually it's going to get to a point where you're going to think to, uh, you know, think you're going to be able to go from point point A to point B, but no, it's going to be checkpoints, man. They show you that up on um that video game Spider Man 2018. All right, it was a, um, you know, it's all throughout the video game, man. But it's, it's movies like that. What happened on Monday, you know? But in this, in the video game, the Spider Man game, all right, is where it was a disease had broke out, just like with the invisible killer that was around, all right, in 2020, 2019, man, you know, and they were uh, um. They, they set up checkpoints, all right? And it was all through martial law. It was all through martial law, man. All right, guys with big old guns and, you know, controlling the people, throwing them in concentration camps, all right? Hey, what, what the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and our elders on down have been telling us for years is going to happen. And they, now we see it, all right? There's videos, you know, uh, you know, floating around the internet where, you know, you have Edomites driving past, um, you know, little vacant, vacant areas, and they have... Big old cages with toilets in it and all that. They ain't for no monkey. That ain't for no for no giraffe man, no fucking bear. No, that's for you, that's for you people. Alright, that's for you, that's that's for you Jakes out here, you other heathens, man. Cause hey, the Lord is truly finna turn this place up, man. He's about to turn this place to, uh, uh, like it has never been before. Alright, death on a mass scale, control on a mass scale. It says verse 18, for because for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. And the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. And hey, this is the most prideful place on the on the planet Earth, man. America, All right? And, hey, pride breeds what sin? This is uh Sirach, Sirach ten, and verse Sirach ten and twelve. It says the beginning of pride is when one departed from Yahweh, and his heart is turned away from his Maker. For pride is the beginning of sin, and he that hath it shall pour out abomination. And therefore, Yahweh brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. So this is what's about to happen to this entire world, man. To all these people to, that, that dwell in Babylon, the grace says, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. All right. All these people that are holding on to this to this worldly lifestyle. All right. To the to the way to the ways of wickedness, because the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So if you're following the majority of the world, hey, you're following wickedness, man. You're following pride, right? And if you're following pride and if you're committing, if, you, if you're, if you you know, in the spirit of pride, you're committing sin. Because you're doing whatever you want to do. You're turning away from your maker, right? Speaking to you so-called Negro, Spanish, and Native Americans, all right, which you're not supposed to be walking in no pride, man. You're supposed to be walking in the ways of Yahweh Hashem al Shai, which that pride, which that sin ultimately is going to bring you death. This is Romans 6 and 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our Lord. So, hey, man, hey, if you're committing sin, breaking the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Shai, and hey, the Lord is eventually going to bring death upon you. And this whole world is, is, is engulfed in sin, man. It says that the whole earth, the whole world lieth in wickedness. Uh, let me see if I can find this. Because it says that after sin is finished, you know. Let me see. But these days, yeah, these heathens see it, man. These heathens can see it. You jakes, <laughs> you jakes, man, is it, is gonna is gonna bite you in the ass, man. Yep. This is James chapter 1, James 1 and verse uh, 13. It says, Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of Yahweh, for Yahweh cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempted he any man. But every man is, is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. So, hey, this is something that you want to do, man. All right, what do you want to be a sodomite? What do you want to be a game banging nigga, a killer, a whore? Whatever it is, man, this is what you want it. All right, and ultimately the Lord gave it over, gave you over to it, man. This is what you want so bad. This is what you lusting after. Hey, hun, you can have it, man. Be it, do it. It says, then 
when lust have conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. All right? So sin equals death, man. And that's what our people are walking in, that pride, that sinful spirit. So the Lord is ultimately going to bring them that, that death that they so want, man. You want this so bad, huh? You go have it, man. You want to be, you want to be a game maker, nigga. You want to be a killer. You want to be a whore. All right. All these things lead to death. All right. All those that hate me love death. The Lord didn't set our people up to do none of that. He set our people up to be a holy uh, nation unto him. But as he says in the book of Jeremiah, you have become a, a degenerate vine. All right. The Lord planted this lovely plant. All right. Now it's growing up as weeds, man. And now the Lord is going to cut it down and hew it, hew it down and throw it into the fire. And that's what's going to happen to two thirds of our people. So this is second Ezra 15 and verse 19. It says a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. All right. And that's what that, that Edomite or that, or that guy who appeared to be an Edomite. I was saying, all right, that they, they eventually these people are going to be breaking up inside of each other's cribs, taking each other's resources, taking each other's foods, all right, killing each other. And why is this going to happen? It says, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods. Right. We're going to take their food, their resources because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So this is why this is going to happen, man. It's going to be a, a great famine out here on the earth. All right, we already see that brewing. We see that going on. With these food shortages, prices raising, you know, so as a food is becoming scarce out here, man. And eventually a Jake is not going to have none, nothing up in a crib. Jake got kids, you know, Jake is a damn simp. He got a wife. You know, so hey, hey, that wife is gonna tell me, hey, we need something. We, hey, we need something to eat. You know, hey, I can hear it right now, man. A nigga woman going crazy, man. And Jake just, hey, hey, hey these these guys go be on the hunt. They gonna be on the hunt, man. All right, they gonna be kicking in your doors. All right, taking taking your food, man. A hey, 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 man taking everything, man. And it says a hey, destroying their house with the sword. So yeah, these people are gonna be destroying each other's house with the sword, man. But, hey, Bullet holes all through the walls, man. All through the TVs, all through everything, through the couches, everything. All right? Just like one of the movies that, that just come through and they just drive by, shoot up the whole crib, man. All right? Shit like that is going to be happening as well on a mass scale. You think these mass shootings or something? Hey, wait till the Lord really turn this turn this place up, man. All these people that you look at as being your buddies and friends, hey, they're going to turn into your enemies. This is 2 Ezra 6 and 22. It says, And suddenly shall the sown places... Appear unsung. So, hey, all these, you know, um, you know, these, 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 uh, that's what I'm looking for, these grocery stores, man. Grocery stores and all these other things, they, 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 they're they going to have food. But one day you're going to go in and they're not, they're not going to have anything, man. They're not going to have nothing. They're not, they're not going to have any re resources whatsoever. It says the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. And the trumpet shall give a sound when, uh, which, when every man hear it. They shall suddenly be afraid. At that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. And the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. Because, yeah, man, they, all these people that, that are neighbors. All right. It says that a neighbor shall have no pity, man, whatsoever. All right. The love, the love of many shall wax cold. All right. And as, as, as it says, because of iniquity, uh, because iniquity has a bound, man. Which let me just grab it. Matthew 24 and 12, it says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. All right. We see iniquity abounding. We see death coming at, at a mass scale, robbery coming at a mass scale, carjacking at a mass scale, man. All right. These things have never been like, like they have been on the earth up until this point. Because, hey, we're pretty much in Jacob trouble right now, man. And it's eventually going to brew and brew and brew and brew. Until it's, we're going to be in a full effect, a full effect of Jacob's trouble. All hell breaking loose, man. All right, as, as our Lord said, all right, that fire upon the earth. All right, that fire is already going to be kindling. All hell is going to be breaking loose before our Lord even comes and cracks the cloud, cracks those clouds, and the day of the Lord comes. And all, a, a you know, that fire is going to be on these people. That real fire is going to be on these people, man. But it's going to be hell breaking loose on the earth. Read this over, 2 Ezra 6 and 24 says, At that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountains shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. So yeah, you people are going to thirst to death. You people are going to starve to death. 
Right? It's going to be complete and utter hell breaking loose, man. Famine at a mass scale, people eating each other. Hey, people are going to be trying to find ways to, to, to quench their thirst. All right? People are going to be drinking their own urine. People are going to be drinking dirty water, dirty sewer water, dirty toilet water, man. But, hey, you say all these things and Jake, look at, look at this as a joke, man. They, they, don't, they don't take none of this shit serious. Which is why the Lord is just going to bring that judgment. The Lord is going to bring that judgment and then our people are going to, going to try to get right. But it's, it's, it's too late, man. The Lord wants you to get right when he wants you to get right, not when you want to get right. Hey, the, the warning is out here for a reason. This is Jeremiah 4 and 22. It says, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sodded children. And hey, the Lord said, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. All right, lack of knowledge of what? All right, these laws, statutes, law, statutes and commandments, their power, which is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh being the father, Yahweh Shai being the son. Right, which a you must bow and worship, man, and worship in, in truth and sincerity, according to these words, according to their laws, statutes, and commandments. That's how you truly, truly, truly love and serve the Lord, man. It's through his word. It says they are sighted children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. A A A F R E E fuck nigga free. All right, people are wise to do that. They know all about that, man. <laughs> they know all about a hint, hint a lick, a waiting until a nigga get out, get off, get off, you know, his, his job, man, to kidnap him, rob him, do whatever, do do whatever it is, man. Our people are wise to do shit like that, man. But when it comes to serving Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, they don't want to do it. They don't want to do it, man. Jakes are just are just fucking retarded. You just stupid. But very soon, man, the Lord is gonna unleash all hell in a. It's gonna be too late for you. Jeremiah 6 and 16, it says, Thus said, Yahweh, stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls in a good way, in a good, uh, in the old paths, right, and the, is the law, such as the commandments, and the, in the, in the way that our forefathers came up, right, in this, in this word, man, in this wisdom, but, but they said, we will not walk therein, all right? People, they have the mindset to, to diss Yahweh Hashem al and not want to cleave to the Lord, to want to cleave to their own ways, man, and do their own thing. And doing your own thing is going to lead to your death, man, and your demise, all right? Because it says that the law, statutes, and commandments give us, gives us life. Proverbs, the third chapter. And the Lord says also in that same chapter not to lean to your own understanding. Not to lean to your own understanding, man. They, in the book of Sirach, all right, it says that pray uh, that the Lord... All right, leads your leads your way aright. All right, lead, leads you, man. That's what we're supposed to be praying for. We're supposed to be hey, asking you how about Shmuel Shai to lead our lives, man. Not to walk in any way that we want to do, man. Walking in any way that you want to do is gonna is gonna lead to you falling to that to that sword and that destruction. Uh, so like, uh, damn. As the app done crashed on me, man. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, Jeremiah 6 and 17 it says also I set watchmen over you saying hearken to the sound of the trumpet but they said we will not hearken all right and what it says in Isaiah the um the uh what is it 64th chapter all right that the Lord has his his prophets out here all right day in and day out giving you no rest man whatsoever are right, we hey, I'm doing a lesson at 3 a.m man you know hey somebody somebody is is up to hear this you know, Jake got to work early in the morning. Someone is up to hear this. Jake ain't got no excuses whatsoever, man. All right, which is why the Lord is going to bring that judgment down upon the ass. Because he said, Yahweh Shai said, they have no cloak for their sins. They have no cloak for their sins, man. You, you People have no excuses as to why you you, you should not be serving Yahweh Shema Shai. But this is Jeremiah 11 and 11. It says, therefore, thus said Yahweh, behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. Because the Lord has his prophets out here. He has his hands stretched out all the day long, man. But our people are pushing the hand away, snatching the shoulder. All right, saying, hey, we don't want to serve the Lord, man. We want to do our own thing. But these heathens see what's going on. They see that all hell is about to break loose. They see that their kingdom is falling. They see that they're losing their power, man. They see that Joe Biden, all right, they're, they're, they're so loved president. <laughs> Which is a joke, man, because hey, these people fucking hate Joe Biden, you know, but hey, they're president, man. 
wants to take away take take away their take away their blessing, take away their sword, man. So now they're gonna have an uprising and a fight against him. But you, Jace, I worried about the summertime. You worried about being able to turn up. You worried about F R E E fuck nigga free, man. You know, that's what our people. That's that's the mindset of uh, uh, of of the of the Israelites, man. A rebellious and stiff necked people. But the Lord is gonna bring that evil upon them, man. That they will not be able to escape, which is Jacob's trouble. All hell breaking loose, and you 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 you're gonna run one way from je from death, and a, a greater death is gonna meet you the next way, man. So it says, then shall the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods, unto whom uh, they offer incense, but they shall not save them at all in the time of their trouble. You know, because they are people. Hey, they, 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 they don't want to hearken to you. How about Shemal Shai? You know, they're going to, hey, in that day, man, they're going to be trying, they're going to be trying to seek the Lord. They're going to be trying to seek, seek the prophets and get that, get that understanding. But the Lord is not going to hearken to them. The Lord is not going to give them a way to hearken. I tell you that in Amos the eighth chapter, the Lord is going to take us from off uh, those highways and bad ways, man. He's going to take wisdom, uh, you know, out of the city. He's going to take us away, man. He's going to shut us up, you know, and hey, there's going to be no way for us to prophesy, it's gonna be all hell breaking loose, and then they're gonna to try to cry to you how about Shemuel Shai, but nope, it's too late. Then they're gonna, hey, well, hey, let's turn back to these gods, let's turn back to these false gods, man, which never helped them in the first place, and they're not gonna save them because they're nothing but idols. They're false gods. They can't do anything. They can't save you from 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 a true living power. Yeah, how about Shemuel Shai is the one that's bringing this death and destruction. You gotta call. You gotta to turn to him to to uh, um, you know, to get pr protected from that. But this is the time to be calling to him. You can't call to him when a, a the warning, you know, what, what, what we're warning you of is already out here. It's too late for you now. It says, for according to the number of thy cities were thy gods, O Judah, and according to the number of thy streets, O Jerusalem, have ye set up altars to that shameful thing, even altars to burn incense unto by all. Therefore pray unto, therefore pray not thou for this people, and that's to us, all right, the men that are serving Yahweh Bashem al -Shai. We ain't praying for these people. We ain't praying for, all right, all these wicked-ass niggas out here that are doing, that, doing their own thing. We ain't praying for our favorite cousin, man. We don't give a damn about them, man, at all, all right? Because if you're not serving Yahweh Bashem al -Shai, you will die, all right? Here's the thing is, we, we're, we're telling you, we we're giving you the warning, but you're telling you, you hey, in, the green tray, in the green tree, you think everything is all good. You think nothing is going to happen. You know, but eventually that, that tree is going to turn dry and then you're going to try to seek us, but it's going to be too late. So we're not going to cry for you. We're not going to pray for you. It says Jeremiah 11 and 14. Therefore, pray not doubt for this people, neither lift up a cry or a prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. So the Lord is not going to hear these people at all, man. This is a time for your judgment and you will go through it, man. You will go through that hell and you will be destroyed. By Yahweh Shemal Shai in a very horrible and and, 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 and tormentous way, man. All right. So I pray this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Shemal Shai, by Hashem Rechakurash, the Wanis Haedas and Apostles of Great Mills, and I do it well. And salutations and blessings to Akin that's pushing his word with true sincerity and charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.